Due to the explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Uh. All right, everybody, we are back. Um, went ahead and hopefully stabilized the frame rate. Um, we are going to find out here in a little bit. If not, then I do apologize. It's just there's not much else I can really do about it. I uh, need to get this video recorded and edited and done and uploaded so you guys can enjoy it. So hopefully we got enough usable content from the first half of this uh, this Christmas special. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go... Oh, okay. Uh, Alright, so we got calls of a mugging on Beaverhead. We went ahead and moved over to Leftwood. We have a lot of a lot of good calls, a lot of fun in Leftwood. So uh, let's go ahead and respond to this call of a mugging on Beaverhead. Which is right here. It's probably going to be... Yeah, it looks like it's going to be at the uh, at the diner down here at the end of the road. Okay, let's keep an eye out. Uh, let's go ahead and just check in the back real quick, the back alley. I don't see anything else out here that indicates anybody's being mugged. Go ahead and pull our pistol out just to make sure. All right, here we go. Here's our suspect right here. He's running at us. He is armed. Stop the gun. Stop the gun. You could stop that too. There we go. Let's be smart about this. All right. I just want to collect the evidence. I don't want to pick it up. So we're just going to make sure that we can... Ah, there we go. So we collected the evidence as well. We're going to place this guy under arrest. And we are going to drive him to... Or we're going to walk him to the police car. Uh, so we're going to put him in the back of the police car real quick, and then we're going to go back and try to get the the ID of the victim. Just so we have his name for the record. And he is not here anymore. Okay, good. Well, that worked out. So let's go ahead and actually get this guy back out of the back of this, the car so we can uh, run his... So we can run his name, make sure that he has nothing on him. We don't want him leaving anything in the back of the police car. Oops, let go, please. All right. Hello, how you doing? Give me your ID. You're clearly... I don't want to use binoculars. Okay, so you don't have your ID on you. Any reason that car is driving away with the car alarm going off? Probably because somebody just stole it. And they're sure as hell driving like they stole it. Come on. Okay, so we had another weapon on him, even with dropping that Uzi. I still have eyes. I still have eyes on the tail lights of that car that was just stolen out of this parking lot. So, uh, where did he go? He just fell through the map. So that's and he popped in the back of my seat. Okay. Really don't know what happened, but what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to catch up to this. I was a black Huntley that was just stolen out of the parking lot right there. There he is. Kind of wish... So I do have the rear... I do have the passenger from the mugging, or the the, uh, the suspect from the mugging. And this black Huntley, this black and red Huntley, was just stolen out of the parking lot of that diner. Okay, shit stain. Pull over. So we are going to stop this guy. We're going to treat it as just a normal traffic stop for now, but he definitely stole this vehicle. Definitely, definitely, definitely stole this vehicle. Either that or he just drove away like a maniac. This is the worst. I'm not going to stop him here, actually. We're just going to wait. We're going to wait, because as of right now, he's in a terrible spot. I'm going to go around so I could stop the... Put, close this door. There we go. Okay. So we're going to wait for this guy to go through here, which he just drove through for no reason. Oh my god. And we're going to wait for him to get through the red light, because why not? Just the waiting game again. Um. Alright, so we're just going to sit here, wait for this guy to go through the red light, then we're definitely going to stop him. Because unless he decided to drive away like a maniac after setting off the car alarm on his own car, 
something tells me that he stole this. So, we're definitely going to stop and have a chat with him. Nope. No, you're not. I don't want you to do that. All right, why don't you stop the vehicle and actually stop? Why are you glitching? He's glitching out like this is multiplayer. He's doing exactly what they do in multiplayer. Really? This is what you're going to do? All right, fine, that's it. Fine, I'm just going to treat it like a felony stop then. Get out. Get out. Nope, stop running. Oop. Give me your ID. All right, we're just, we're just gonna treat it like a felony stop then, because I don't know what's going on, but he <laughs> it was literally acting like it was multiplayer. It was doing the same thing it does in multiplayer. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make sure that he is, uh, if he has any warrants, he's going to jail. Um, I suspect him of really you're gonna you're gonna litter. Come on, you douche. I expect him of stealing this vehicle. I don't believe this vehicle is his. He has no warrants and he does have a valid license, but I'm going to... Um... Oh! Oh! Fuck! What the fuck are you doing? Um... Okay, pull the gun. When I went to go search him, I did shoot him because I was a little concerned that he was going to shoot this guy in the... I, I mean, the guy in the Ubermach was being a... Very annoying. No. You're not running away. Put your hands on your head and don't move. Okay, we're going to place him under arrest. He had a weapon on him. I very much suspect him of stealing that... Stealing that vehicle. Why do they... Uh, what? What? What the fuck is, what the hell's going on? Oh my god, okay, a fight that this cop is just unloading into these, hey, 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 stop. No, oh, fuck. I don't know what's going on. Why did this guy fall from the sky? Oh, God, okay. I don't want any part of the suspect resisting arrest. All right, um, we're going to call a corner for this guy that I arrested that then fell from the sky. I don't know what that was about. That was really, really strange. Um, oh, my God. EMS is also showing up, which he's dead. They don't need to show up. Uh, let's go ahead and search and tow this. Well, we're going to move this. Ubermach out of the road. This is just a mess. This is an absolute mess. Oh, God. Okay. We're going to search the trunk of this vehicle. Make sure that there's nothing in it. Then we're also going to tow it. Alright. Trunk is empty. Nothing in it. We're going to get it, the vehicle towed. Uh, we're going to update our status real quick. Just so we're going to be available. We do need to still drive this guy. This guy is still in the backseat. So we do need to drive him to the uh, the police station real quick. So, wait. I thought... Okay, yeah. This No, this is my car. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's just a bunch of mess. All right. We're just going to run a little code 2 to the uh, the police station and drop off the uh, this guy... That was the mugger. That's right. <laughs> the mugger from about five minutes ago. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do that. Then we'll get back out on patrol and see what else we can come across. Can I go around you? Yeah, thank you. This is Control. We have a report of uh, a criminal fleeing a crime scene. Oh, these are always terrible. All right, I'm going to respond to this. Excuse me. All right, so we got a fuel thief at the uh, gas station in West Dyke. Luckily, this is the only gas station, and it's on one road, so there's not many exits to this road. So I'm hoping that that will help me uh, attempt to locate this vehicle. We need to get there as fast as possible, and I know it sounds ridiculous for a fuel thief, but um, I'm going to get there as fast as possible, and I'm going to talk to this guy as fast as possible so he can give me the... That doesn't help. <laughs> oh god. So we can give me the description of this vehicle that uh 
I can start looking for. All right, what is it? Give me the description. Uh, gray burrito two. So it's gonna be a gray burrito van. All right, we're gonna go down this way. Nothing on that street. Let's go around to Beaverhead. Maybe he already, oh Jesus, sorry. Oh God, I'm sorry. I don't know what the cops are doing over here, but let's go down. Maybe they saw him. Something tells me no, they did not. I don't know what they're doing down here. They're just being idiots. Um, oh God. Really not good. Um, come on. The, the circle has already expanded, so this guy could be anywhere. Gray burrito van. I know what the burrito van looks like. Um, where it could have gone? I don't know. Unless he's driving like I am. Ooh, that has to be it. That has to be it. This has to be it. It's car. it. All right, sweet, we found them. Oh, I think this is one of the first times I ever found one of these fuel thieves. Okay, so we're going to be in a pursuit of this uh, gray burrito van. Uh, the pursuit's already called in, so hopefully we'll get a couple more units showing up. Our car is pretty destroyed, which is not good to start a pursuit in, but it is what it is. Um... Okay, let's, uh, huh. I don't think we're going to be able to pit him. That van is probably pretty heavy. And the Crown Vic is not. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Um, okay, let's, we got another unit. We can attempt to pit. It's, I don't think it's going to work, but we can give it a shot. Okay, let's uh, let's give it a shot right here. That was a terrible attempt. Oh my god, thank you for spinning them back around. My car is smoking, which is really not good. Really, really not good. Uh, okay, we need to attempt another pit. He's going to take a left. Yep. Okay, let's wait for him to get back out on the road, and pit, pit, and it's not going to work. Okay, so we need to wait for him to turn. Hopefully he'll take a left. Take a left, please. Thank you. All right, pit, pretty successful, actually. That was a really nice pit. All right, that's it. I didn't want to kill the guy, um, considering he only stole fuel, but uh, when you run over an officer and you almost kill them, that gives me the right to kill you. <laughs> and you knocked my Santa hat off. I think that was the biggest crime. Biggest crime of the night, losing my Santa hat. All right, so coroner's on the scene. They will take care of him. Uh, we can... We're going to go ahead and move our car just so we can start to search the trunk of this vehicle. And uh, just see if he has anything. My lights are messed up because my car is so messed up. Uh, so we'll see if anything's in the back of this vehicle. Which I don't think it's going to let me do. Oh, there we go. All right, I am going to search the back of it. Anything in there? Nope, trunk is empty. Okay. All right, towing service is here. Criminal fleeing a crime scene, I don't care. All right, so we're gonna work our way back up to Leftwood and we'll probably take one more call and we'll finish off this episode. We have a report of uh, indecent exposure. Uh, West Bank, please investigate. All right, reports of indecent exposure. It looks like it's going to be over here in the uh, in the torn up castle or house area. This weird mansion by itself. Where exactly is this? Where am I going? 
running into the woods looking for someone exposing themselves. Hello, sir? Uh, looking for someone in a red shirt and going that direction. Which direction? What, this direction? So someone in a red shirt. That's what we're looking for. What's up? There he is! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> How's it going? You want to give me your, uh, your ID? Why don't you put your hands behind your back? Is this the guy? He's got a little red chevron above his head, and he's wearing a red shirt. I want to say that this is the guy. Um, he has nothing on him, but we're going to detain him in my vehicle for right now. Just because he does match the description. The only description being red shirt. Which thanks by the way. Guy of that gave the description. That's all I get. Red shirt. Not like. Hey he's uh, black, white, tall, short, male, female. Anything. Um, red shirt is, is what I get. I mean this. As of right now. This is the only dude in a red shirt. I'm going to go on the beach down here just to make sure. But considering that... Considering that he was a red shirt, I mean, it's the uh, wrong place at the wrong time if it wasn't him. Why else would he be up in that area, too? I think it, this was the guy. I think I got the guy. Pretty sure I got the guy. I don't see anybody else in this area with a red shirt. And that's really not much to go on. Most likely he's gonna, if I arrest him, he's gonna just end up walking free because, oh God, because uh, a red shirt really isn't, isn't enough to go on. But instead of me doing the bad job, I'm gonna just arrest him. <laughs> and I know that's kind of messed up, but I'm sorry, but he's, he must just be in the wrong place at the wrong time. He's he's in a red shirt. But the guy could have been like, yeah, red shirt, shorts, black male. I would have been like, then I would have no doubt. I'd be like, okay, yeah, this guy's definitely the guy. Just red shirt could be anybody. Wearing a red shirt, so... I think I got him, though. I'm pretty sure I got him. I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know. We're just gonna... We're just going to drive him back to the station. Um, and we'll, I don't know, we'll leave it up to the courts. We'll let the courts decide whether this guy, uh, this guy walks or is charged with the crime. So we're just going to drive him in, drop him off. And uh, I think this is where we're going to go ahead and end this episode. So I hope everyone has had a really nice Christmas and I hope you've stayed warm and dry. Uh, I know California, it's, it's been very, very rainy lately. So I hope you stayed dry. Um, but yeah, I hope you, I, I hope you've had a good Christmas or holiday, whatever you decide, whatever you celebrate. I hope you've had a uh, good vacation from, you know, school or work. And I hope you've been able to spend time with your families. And, uh, that's currently what I'm doing right now as you're watching this. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and remember if you did like the police car you can go and download um on codezero.us i will put a link in the description and remember to like these videos it really does help me out lets me know that you guys want to see more i'll see you guys next time merry christmas and goodbye